Greetings gamer guys and gals. Welcome to part number 55 of my Let's Play Fire Emblem 5 Thracia 776. In today's episode, we are going to be uh, <laughs> uh, dealing with the very last Gaiden of this game. And one of the most annoying chapters in this, in, in this entire saga. I do have to do a bit of deployment and unit management before I begin this chapter. And some surprising things are going to take place. I'll meet you guys in just a few. And we are back with a mighty interesting assortment of characters, might I add. Uh, we have Leaf, Sarah, Fred, Shiva, Homer, Glade, Sed, and Safi. So the reason why I'm doing this is because this is an escape chapter. Um, and you can only bring eight minimum characters. So, what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of cheese. And fortunately, what that means is Fred, Shiva, Homer, and Glade are all going to not be joining us for the final confrontation, which is the chapter after this. But that doesn't matter so much because <laughs> we weren't going to use them anyway. We have plenty of backups and backups on backups. Um, Zed is going to be needed for doing a lot of... I would say boss slaying in this chapter. I'm going to be warping both Leaf and Sed to a place I need them both to go, as well as that I'm going to be warping or rewarping Safi and Sarah where they need to go to. Um, it's very interesting exactly how all of this is going to occur, uh, especially due to the fact that. I have never tried this before. I think this is going to be a very interesting and very amusing experiment to uh, take on. Now, I am going to be bringing two restores, one on Sarah and one on Safi. I had forgotten to do just that. So we're going to be grabbing the second restore I have, which I believe is on, yep, you. Um, and this is in case, uh, just in case we need it. That's really all that's, uh, that I can say about it because we could end up needing to restore certain of our units. Sarah and Safi both have capped magic, so because of that, neither one of them can possibly be put to, um, sleep or silenced unless the unit itself, or his self, I should say, um, has a... And Sorcel on him, Pure Water, or if he's on a Magic Boosting Tile. Now, I do believe the boss is on a Magic Boosting Tile in this chapter, but he only has 10, and the Tile boosts by 10. So, he can't do anything to them, gratefully. Um, but we're still going to bring Restores on both of them, just in case, because we don't want any of our plans to be ruined. Another issue is, is I might have to reload and change deployment a few times, specifically because in the Gaiden chapters of this game, you cannot choose where your deployment is in your characters without lining them up and knowing which spot is going to be what when you are um, putting your characters in deployment. So you can technically plan around this and you can technically make adjustments to do this and I will if I have to. Um, all that matters is that Leaf and Sarah are next to each other and Sed and Safi are next to each other. The rest does not matter uh, because this group will... We are going to be separated in two separate groups. All right, so let's go ahead and go to deploy. Actually, we can go to save first. Let's save. And then we can deploy. Chapter 24X. The Latrian Altar. Is this the place? Indeed. We're already inside the Latrian Secret Temple. Stay alert, Prince Leaf. It certainly looks how you'd expect a hidden Latrian enclave to be. Uh, everything is so dark, I can barely see past my own nose. Where could Avel be? That I don't know, I'm afraid. We've little choice but to search until we find her. But be wary, I have intelligence stating that the Latrians have worked their foul magic to place invisible traps throughout this area. 
They can be walked across safely, but once one stands on them for too long, they are teleported to a nearby execution chamber. I know not exactly where these traps are, but we should not linger for too long near doors, on staircases, or in narrow corridors. If one of our own should happen to be teleported to the execution chamber, however, there is no exit. We must use our own teleportation magic to retrieve them. In fact, we'll have to use the Latrian's own magic against them to find Veld. An enchanted circle in the center chamber teleports one directly to the altar he's retreated to. After we've rescued Lady Angvel, we should make our way there and use the circle to finally confront Veld. Above all else, my prince, stay calm and advance slowly and carefully. You've come too far to get careless now. Okay. So, it looks like I did not do that rightly, unfortunately. I do need Safi or Sarah to be with Sed. Now, Sed could technically have a warp staff on him and just teleport Leaf over, but he said needs to do something actively on this chapter more than just uh, teleport people around. Um, oh, Avel. <laughs> I remember you. Uh, we're going to be uh, figuring out exactly what to do about her momentarily after I get this all sorted out. I'll be right back, folks. All right, so... Everything has been taken care of. Safi is on one side with Leaf, and Sarah is on the other side with Sed, which is pretty good. That's exactly what we want, uh, because we have quite a lot to do this chapter. Now, we do have some scapegoat units. Uh, Homer and Fred on this side. We're going to be using them for all they're worth. Uh, let's warp Leaf all the way up next to Avel. And then we can just move next to her. I'm going to use... I'm going to equip the Light Brand, and I'm also going to use the Pure Water. Uh, this will give Leaf a lot of magic, particularly. Alright, so now we're going to teleport with Sarah on said just below this escape tile. Ooh, and Sarah gets a movement star. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and rewarp her right next to Avel as well. We did not need that movement star this turn. It is very nice, though. Very appreciated. It's one of the reasons why I brought her as um, a a uh, character for warping and rewarping. I wish we had more warper and rewarpers that had the offensive capability of using tomes. Um, this would be a good reason to promote Shroff and Shroff and being real with you, I actually think I should have done that instead of Tina because Tina's not going to use her promotion. Luckily for anybody who hasn't, you do get a master seal in this chapter as well as a power ring and then something else. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, being honest, none of it's worth it. Now, let's see. Uh, 10, 20. Okay, so I absolutely have to take out the boss here who is a generic, so some of his stats can be re-rolled as well. All you have to do is reset the game in order to re-roll. If you have more than one unit that has that has uh, 20 using the altar floor, which gives plus 10 magic, uh, the seal also gives plus 20% of void, which is what the boss is standing on. Um, if you have 
more than one of these guys because there's three. There's the boss, and then there's one Laptrian, one to each side, one sorcerer to each side that has a silence, this one has a sleep. Whichever ones do, if you have more than one, you need to reset. Because unless you're going to teleport multiple people here it, to do combat, which is not really recommended, Set is more than capable of dealing with all of the enemies here and should be your go-to. Even at capped magic, I think that most of the mages will still go for him because they also have plus 10 magic. With their tomes, they should be able to breach 30 might or 30 attack, particularly. Yeah, so Sed is at 19, so for instance, yeah, this guy has 32, and he has some, probably some of the lowest magic out of this whole group. Okay, this guy is actually only getting to 30. So, he is just barely doing damage to Sed. Just one, so that means he will still attack. You want them to attack, because you want them to get out of the way as soon as possible. Um, if you wait too long, because of the infinite... Um, and reinforcements on this chapter, it is very likely that Sed will break his Forseti Tome. We do not want that in this chapter. We have a Hermern, and we could use it. It's another reason why I brought Safi. But you kind of want to be very careful about this. Somebody actually hit Sed. That's amazing with six hits. And it is the Loptrian with uh, exactly 30 attack. Luckily for us, Sed did get that one attack, or one magic, because now he should be able to one-shot most of the Loptrians over here, which is pretty good. I don't like that he got poisoned, especially because we don't really want to take any turns to heal up anybody in this chapter, any more than we already have. Now, because Sarah has five Vigor Stars, we could end up relying on that at a point. Not really relying on it, but hoping for it. And, you know, maybe she could help out in that matter. Uh, the Latrians prefer teleporting onto the altar just because of the fact that it gives that significant magic buff. Sed is obviously going to take out all of these guys. It's funny that they're even willing to attack him because of uh, the fact that he's got the mighty Force Seti. The most busted weapon in all of Thracia. Most busted preferential weapon at the very least. Because I do think there are some weapons that compete. They might not come close concerning might or like stat bonuses. But they do still compete because they, like the Kingmaker aren't preferential, therefore many people can use them. Um, it's an interesting thought. I kind of wish that Sias had more to him so that it would be a more difficult choice because it's definitely not a difficult choice. It is not even remotely close to a difficult choice. Alright, so, what we're first going to do is use the Staff of Kia on Avel. Make sure you don't forget that. <laughs> You'll have to reset. Alright, and then we're going to talk to Avel with Leaf. Avel, come on, Avel! Avel, it's me, Leaf. Can you hear me? Leaf? L -l Lord Leaf? Ah, little Lord, what are you doing here? You gotta break out of here, and fast. Avel, things are very different now than when you were last awake. Different? What's gotten into your head? We're still in the same... 
Huh? Wait, what is this place? Aval, thank goodness. You're just like how you were before. Little, Le little Leaf, just what the hell happened to me? I'm sorry, but there's no not time enough for me to explain everything. All you need to know is that we're fighting to liberate Thracia from the Empire, and we're in the middle of recapturing Munster right now. We need your strength now more than ever, Avel. Heh. <laughs> Already too old to keep calling me Commander, I see. A lot must have happened. Alright, we'll talk later. But we'll have time to catch up after this battle, right? Of course. There's so much I want to tell you, Avel. Perfect. And we get Avel back. Um, first things first, we're going to actually take the Kingmaker and a Pure Water and use said Pure Water. Because even though we're on a plus 10 tile, uh, Avel only has 5 magic. So now that we're well above the threshold, we shouldn't be bothered too much by uh, um, said enemies, I should say. Um, one thing we do have to do is take said, uh, well, Safi needs to teleport. Um, she doesn't want to go to said's room, not even remotely, <laughs> not at least yet. Um, but we want to stand right on here and attack with said. Uh, we're going to defeat the sorcerer with the sleep staff first because it just makes the most sense. Perfect. Um, and that's our turn. Yeah, so Avel is... As I said before in the beginning of this game, she is perfectly viable as a an endgame unit, especially with weapons such as the Kingmaker. Pretty much anybody can make good use of that. Um, Swords Masters, I would dare say, are the best making at uh, making use of that because of adept and innately. Um, however, Avel is still pretty decent. She's not comparable even remotely so to our trained Marita, which is kind of unfortunate and also very plainly obvious. It would be, you would be very hard pressed, very hard pressed to find a unit that is better than Marita tra trained. You would just be very hard pressed. It, it, it's not happening. And the reason why that is, is just specifically because Marita is so busted with all the skills that she gets a hold of, as well as the weapons that she, she has. Marita Sword is an amazing preferential weapon that allows her to basically have a Kingmaker, but a, of her own niche. As well as the fact that she gets Astra, other things like that. Her growth rates, even if... Even if you could promote her at level 3, which is not possible, but even if you could promote her at literal base, she would still get most of her stats capped, which just goes to show one very important thing, and that is that she is going to find herself not in any way, shape, or form outclassed by... Avel. Doesn't mean Avel's not good. It's just that one is peculiarly better. Um, I kind of want to warp these two. Hmm. See, this is the this is the hard task about this. The Laptrians. Yeah. Uh, if they hit any one of our units, it's down to 1 HP. Actually, Set is in grave danger of dying right now. Because if he gets hit by any of the hell-wielding Latrians, he is literally going to die. Um, which is not great. That's true of all of our units. This is, this is the problem. This is the difficulty of this chapter particularly. 
is that we have we have some some limits on exactly what we can do. Hmm. ADA to void. I'm thinking about rescuing Avel. Or actually, I should rescue. S thinking about rescuing Avel. Um, teleporting Sarah in. Um, which is going to be kind of dangerous. Kind of very dangerous because. Uh, She's going to be bombarded by, bombarded by a lot of Latrians over the next turn or two. I'm obviously going to put her on the Avoid tile because Sed doesn't need the Avoid tile to have a ton of Avoid. But I'm thinking the idea here is that I rescue Avel. I warp. I could use my Rescue Staff for both. I could. It's going to take multiple turns, though. This is, uh, this is a tough one, actually. Alright, he has the Fenrir. So we're going to take out the Fenrir. Just to call him quits. The coveted 50 attack. It's very hard to uh, see that in Thracia, but uh, Sed is one of the very, very few who can even come close without needing effective weaponry. Ooh. Very nice. All right, so... Yeah, this is, this is the hard part. I have to rescue Avel here. I'm going to rewarp. All right, no movement star, unfortunately. Let's see. It doesn't matter where we attack from necessarily, but we definitely want to get rid of one of these Hell Loptrians. Unfortunately, they all have it. Three hit. That's actually kind of absurd. We're actually not one hit KOing here. It's apparent that... Let's see. Okay, this one has the most hit. Whoever has the most hit, we have to take care of, because that means he's going to have the most hit on any of our units. So that would be you. Let's uh, hope we finish you off. Actually, we're one-shotting, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, unfortunately, if Sed gets hit by any of these, the poison will kill him, which means that's a reset. All right. Let's end turn. Alright, we have to hope and pray here. Alright, thank you, Sarah. She needs as many criticals as possible because the reality is that uh, they're going to be a lot in our way. Very nice, Sarah. Very nice. It is possible that if she were to take a hit from Hell, as long as she doesn't get hit by Jormungandr before then and get poisoned, that she'd be fine. Um, but it would just be better, far and away better, if uh, she just doesn't get hit. 1% hit can happen, though, just like a 99% miss can happen. Ah, 
I have a feeling he decided not to attack because he just doesn't have enough magic. Alright. So the hero can only attack... Well, technically, if, if these Loptrians all KO themselves on Sarah, um, the hero could attack Sarah. I don't really think she's in any way threatened by that prospect, but she does have way less uses of her magic than Sed does. So we do have to be mindful of that as well. It would be my most humblest of hopes that we just get a... a Vigor Star proc on Sarah. Either that, or I guess I could use the Rescue Staff with both Sed and Sarah this turn, as long as there's room, um, to get... Well, technically, no, we can't do that. No, we cannot do that. No, we cannot do that. That's unfortunate. And you are gone, friend. Very gone. I think I actually need to release Avel. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that this is going to um, work in my current idea here. Ah, oh, that really stinks because we need to be able to have all of my units leave on the same turn. Staff rescue. All right, so this is a bit of a brain twister here. I'm trying to consider exactly what I can do here. Um, hmm. My guess would be is that I have to drop Avel and have Avel rescue Safi and then do rescuing. Because if Leaf is here, if Leaf is here, he, with the Light Brand, he should be well equipped to defend himself alongside Sed, for instance, and then the rest of my units can escape, and then Sed and Leaf can just escape the following turn. Yeah, so that's, that looks like pretty much what I have to do. I don't... I really just don't like this, though. I really don't. Because this means we're going to have to wait another turn. Depending on how many uses... Okay, Sarah should have enough. Um, let's see. Who has the most hit here? So it's none of them. Alright, so it doesn't matter. We'll take you out. Man, I, I'm telling you what, this is what I would consider a definite brain twister. And we're not even going the quote-unquote long way in this chapter. So, very interestingly, what I'm going to be doing here is, since I am not using the Rescue Staff this turn, I'm actually going to use the Restore Staff, um, specifically so that Sed can be healed up, and we don't have to worry necessarily at all about the hell combination. He can be hit with hell as long as he's not hit with Jormungandr again. He should be totally fine. Um, which is actually great. We're, we're no longer in that kind of a threat now. Um, Alright, so we're just going to have to uh, hope and pray. <laughs> That's really all we can do is hope and pray. Sarah needs to get a bunch of crits so she doesn't run out of her tome. Specifically, that's like the biggest problem that I could see right now is her actually running out of her tome. I'm 
Very nice, very nice. Especially because she is not one-shotting any of these guys. She doesn't have the power that Sed does. After all, she is only using base wind. Which I think has a tome might of six? Yeah, it does. It has a tome might of six. Little Wind might have been the better option for this, in a way. Just because she has way more uses on her Nosferatu, and could Nosferatu tank. The problem is, is that she doesn't have Wrath. So she wouldn't be getting crits like this either. Only reason why Sarah is, is because she just has a high critical right now. 30 crit, well 29. That's reduced to 25 because the first hit of any attack it can only max at 25. But at the very least, she's critting all, all the time. You know, one out of four chance to crit. Um, it's reasonable that she's going to get several of those. Um, I'm glad she's getting HP. That's definitely needed, but definitely useful. All right. We've got a sniper and a hero. Yeah, this, this chapter would have already been done had I thought correctly about who to pick up and who to rescue. So it's, it's really not that great because I actually have to wait till next turn to do this. I absolutely do. Eight wind uses. Let's just, uh, let's hope we can keep on moving. We only used five last turn. Um, we could heal up Said, Why not? Give him a little bit of extra health. Give her a little bit of extra experience. She doesn't need it. Absolutely not, especially because she just capped, but... What else can we do in this chapter at this current moment? This is actually kind of very tense. I am very tense right now. Just thinking about, like, how is this going to work here? Uh, next turn we'll be able to escape with Avel. But, man. We would have to basically get a Vigor Star on Sarah and on said in order to escape next turn. Mm, interesting. Well, we don't necessarily even have to do that, though, because what I'm going to do as my thought process here is dictating is that I'm actually going to rescue... Um, staff with said and not Sarah. And I'm going to escape with Sarah as well as escape with Avel. And then I can rescue staff, staff next turn. Leaf won't be able to escape until uh, unless I get a Vigor Star on said. So we should actually be pretty pretty well off right now. It should be fine. Yeah, and these guys with the venom bows, the venom swords, they're sleep edges too. Um, they're kind of humorous enemies. I don't think that they pose any serious threat to either Sarah or Sed. I mean, the sleep edge cell swords could definitely uh, pull a number on us. But uh, we just have to kind of hope and pray that that's not exactly what happens. We actually got hit. Pretty wild. Yep, that should be our turn. Or their turn. Uh, so. Wow. Trade. We're going to take that rescue staff. And let's give her the door key for right now. 
Doesn't matter really what we give her. We're going to rescue Avel. And we're going to escape with Sarah. And we're going to escape with Avel. And now all we have left to do is rescue Leaf and then escape with Leaf and said the next possible turn that they can. Now that Set is the only unit over here, um, for attacking-wise, this is going to be much less complicated. The only problem is, is that we don't have any means of healing, so Sed absolutely cannot get hit. Um, especially by the Hell, uh, folks, because if either the Sleep Edge Cell Sword or the Venom Bow Sniper hits Sed, we are in for a unfortunate and reset worthy ride we absolutely need said for the next chapter and there is no if ands or buts about that i would say that if you play this chapter casually this is got this has got to be the it's hard it's hard to say which is harder i think that the final chapter is definitely the hardest but man, there, this is a close second, and then we have, you know, we have Raedric's stage is a close third. Just because of all the uh, shenanigans that can be pulled on you with the uh, enemies. Alright. This should be a one-shot. Goodbye. Could have had a couple more HP and we still would have one-shot him. I do not like that that Loptrian went to that space because that's the space I wanted to put Leaf in. Super unfortunate. Maybe we can put Leaf on the, uh, the escape tile? Specifically just for the avoid, because he's definitely going to have far less avoid than than said. Um, but, with that being said, I think that is a perfect opportunity for us to end off this episode. I want to thank you for joining me, and if you like my content, please upvote and follow, or like and subscribe, depending on your platform. And while you're at it, have a great and glorious day gaming.